So hey guys, welcome back. So got a lot of questions from friends, family, co-workers about how, uh, what, what do I usually take out to the claims? Had more questions about, hey, what do you carry around in your backpack? So I'll go through that. So in my truck, I've always got a shovel, a pick. I've got my two little picks. Um, I carry my backpack, of course. I'm gonna always have two classifiers. I always bring a half inch classifier, a quarter inch classifier. I carry my super sluice and a couple other pans just for material gathering if I'm using my, my drill. Of course, I carry that little Ryobi vacuum. I have a little Ryobi hammer drill. I don't give that stuff hell. So um, they always seem to work pretty good. Let me go grab my backpack from the gold diggers truck and we'll get inside and uh, I'll start showing you everything that I usually carry in that. So here's the backpack. It's got one large pocket, medium sized pocket, smaller pockets on the front. Let's get to digging into this. This ought to be kind of interesting because uh, I have no idea what we're gonna find in here. I've been working in and out, so there's probably some trash. Uh, there we go, cliff bar. Get that thrown out, little empty vial. Uh, forgot all about that. I had a little digital scale in there. I'm gonna probably take that out Boy, look at all that little fine powder right there. I'm gonna end up cleaning this backpack out completely I'm gonna pan all this out We're gonna see if we find anything uh, This is kind of funny here uh, This is a little vial of fake gold um, These are all lead pellets little pieces of lead that I have smashed down painted them gold uh, this is just for newbies and just playing around and throwing lead in there or I'll put this in the sluice or I'll put these in the bottom of my pan um, it's just a little practice thing I have no idea why this magnets in here <laughs> no idea so we will set that over here now when it comes to this larger outer pocket um, as you can see I got a tourniquet set up right here uh, super important to have your medical type stuff, your first aid kits at the ready. Got a tourniquet right on the outside, very easy to get to. Can rip it right off, it'll come off. Um, tourniquets are one of those that I am kind of up in the air on. Typically everybody wears a belt, so you can use a belt the same way. It's not exactly the same as a tourniquet, but it will do in a pinch but I have one hanging here anyway. Um, the position, some of you guys probably punked me out on this. There's a lot of, believe it or not guys, there's a lot of stuff out there about zipper placement, which is funny. Where should you put your zippers? I didn't even think about this when I thought about making this video. You know, should your zippers be in one corner? Should they be all the way down over here? Um, should they be up here? Should they be up here in the middle? Centered? I was taught a long time ago, and I'm not exactly sure why or where. A lot of your most outdoorsy folks, especially on this pocket, when it comes to first aid, a lot of folks are on the camp of, you zip here, you zip here, pockets open and you can grab your first aid kit out of it. So you wanna have your medical stuff on the ready. You don't want it buried down deep inside the backpack um, where you can't get to it easy. It's gotta be right here on the outside, easy to get to. So this pocket's holding my first aid kit. I've added some stuff to it. Um, it's got a good little supply of bandages and more band-aids and I, I like I tend to like to build my own I'll buy something um, That has a case in it and then I'll buy extra stuff and really pack it. So insect repellent um, 
yeah, I, I like to carry some. Typically, it doesn't work a whole lot, but uh, it's nice to have. Let's see what's in the bottom of this here. Got me a spoon to eat my beans when I'm out there. What is in this pocket? Oh yeah. Okay, this is, you guys might laugh your butt off, but these are balloons. And this is some lead shot. And what else? Oh, and some fishing string. So I'll do a video on this stuff at some point or another when I'm out on a creek. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna move on to the middle pocket. All right, this is kind of my cleaning pouch. Um, small, more trash, more granola bars. I carry with me this little fine brush to get into some of the crevices sometimes. Um, another little fine brush. Sometimes these work good, sometimes they're too fine and you can't move the dirt. This is a little bit harder bristles here. Carry a vacuum with me also, you guys know that. But it's nice to have a little bit of cleaning supplies. You know, the granola bar, still haven't eaten it. Always gotta have a scoop around. I've got my um, carrot, Garrett Pinpointer. I'm not a big relic hunter, I love this thing. Uh, gotta be honest with you, I don't use it a whole lot. Um, the kind of metal detecting I do and the gold I'm looking for usually is too small for this to even pick up. This has come in handy from time to time. I bought this carabiner with it so that I can hook it to my belt loop because this is bright orange. It has a function on it that if you walk away from it, it'll beep. Um, if it's not in use, it'll sit there and beep for like five minutes. So if you can't find it, you might be able to hear the beep if it gets lost. Um, but what happens after that? I'm a space cadet. I'm half blonde most of the time. So I got this little carabiner on here. It has a retractable line on it. And so once I put this on my belt loop, I can pull it out, use it, and then it just goes right back. So, and then it'll slide in my pouch in my metal detecting pouch anyway. So I will not lose that puppy. Those are too darn expensive to lose. This thing is going away. I don't even know why or where and what and how it got in here to be honest with you. Looks like I got extra batteries. Wow, uh, I'm carrying five extra batteries. That's a lot of weight. Uh, I'm gonna go down to probably only two. These are extra batteries for this. Like I said earlier, I don't really hardly use it a whole lot. So I may just park that somewhere else. Uh, we will move to the big pocket here. Okay, this is where all the heavy stuff is. On an occasion, this mesh, this mesh pocket in here, um, there are times that I take a firearm with me and so it gets stuffed in here. I don't like it in here with all of this stuff and rubbing up against it. I do have a piece of plastic that I put in here to help guard from this kind of stuff. Here's some sample. I usually always carry Ziploc bags in this pouch right here. Um, I'll have four or five of them just bundled up. Uh, it's always good to just keep some Ziplocs uh, with me in case I want to do a little sample of something. I'm walking back to the truck. I see something that catches my eye. I can grab a quick sample. Here's some gardening tools. These are just your run-of-the-mill gardening tools that um, I carry with me. I probably don't need two. Well, sometimes suntans with me, so um, this is kind of a bag for both of us, but this little claw for kind of getting in and doing crevicing stuff. Um, of course, rock pick, hammer. I used to have an East Wig a long time ago, and it was a fine hammer. I found these things. I can't believe how good they are, to be honest with you. I think I bought three of these. They came in a pack of three on Amazon. Shoot, it, they would think they were 10 bucks each that way. I've beat the hell out of this one. The handle still, on one of mine, the handle did start to come off. I took it all the way off. I drilled some holes in this handle. 
I mixed me up some epoxy, poured it inside the handle, pushed it back in, epoxy shot out of the holes, that anchors it a little bit, and that other, that other picking hammer is working just great. The handle hasn't come off at all. So if this handle starts to slide off, I'll be doing the same thing to that. This, um, have not really used it a whole lot. This again is for a little bit different metal detecting. This can come in handy, but I'm, I'm always using stuff like this. I'm always using different things or a big pick or, or my picks from this here, I probably just maybe retire this. Maybe Suntan can use it in some of her gear. For the rest of the stuff, I got a spud wrench. Um, this is for metal work. This is a good little pry bar, comes down to a point. I can hit it with a hammer if I want to get in there and break rocks open. Here's some cheesy screwdrivers I bought. I heated them up with the torch, bent them over. One is at this sharp point. The other one is at the different, at the right angle, so it's wider. These have actually been some phenomenal crevicing tools, believe it or not. Um, they're almost my go-to favorites. I, I really, really like these, but they're a little weak, and this starts to bend a little bit, but they seem to get in there pretty good, so I like those. Got a wire brush with me. My old one wore out. I like having a wire brush around, uh, especially in some of the rocks and whatnot, these little light brooms, they just don't. So this here gets down and dirty and it really gets to clean and stuff. Um, since I put this newer one in here, I have not used it, but maybe a couple times. So this is one of those things that you need it every once in a while. Little Husky beater, uh, screwdriver just to extra prying. Crevicing tools, guys. Um, here's some crevicing tools that I have. Uh, I mentioned in a previous video that these are ones that I made from my plasma cutter. And I just draw the stuff up, find the metal. I got lots of metal around here. I cut these out, uh, kind of cleaned them up a little bit with a grinder. They don't need to be perfect. This isn't a talent show or a beauty contest. I just want them strong and I don't want them to be breaking. These are a little thick. They're made out of quarter inch plate, but hey, they, I've given these suckers some abuse. As far as the handles, I just went to the hardware store, bought plastic dip. I haven't really had a whole lot of good luck with plastic dip, but it's holding up pretty good. I did probably six or seven layers on here. It gives a little bit extra grip. You know, you can get your fingers in there. So I, th I figured I'd give it a shot and see how that plastic dip works. I've used it before. Uh, didn't have a lot of good luck with it, but so far this batch of plastic dip is looking pretty damn good. We're almost to the end. <coughs> <coughs> On the outside here, I just realized I've got some, this is for metal detecting. Um, these are just kind of blanks for practicing. These are more pellets smashed down. I laminated them, three hole punched them. These are for just tinkering around and playing around. This is good little practice for suntan. I can throw one of these uh, an inch down under the ground and we can, we can practice with the metal detectors. It's kind of a way of auditing the metal detectors that, hey, they're really working. You know, sometimes you kind of get out there. So I got a bunch of little lead pieces, lead rings, lead rings just like gold. But I got a little chunker in here, so I got a little gold piece here. I don't really use these a lot. I don't practice with the metal detectors that often. So, but when I'm around other folks that are fairly new, these really come in handy. Last but not least is I have a water bladder in here, and water bladders are kind of a. You know, some people are water bladder haters. Others are firm believers in them. I'm kind of both. <laughs> I went with a little bit better water bladder. I went with the Osprey brand. They're a little bit better brand. Um, this is a three liter. 
I use the heck out of it. Um, some folks say they're dirty and the tubes get nasty and start to grow mold in them. Uh, mine have never done that, uh, but that's word on the street that that type of thing can happen. So either, you, either you're gonna carry big water bottles, try to find a home for them. I guess you could put them in here, but when you're wearing your backpack, What's nice about this is the pressure with your back here, your pressure squeezing this bladder. And so when you go to take a drink with your backpack on, there's pressure on it. You crush down on this and the water pretty much just shoots in your mouth. You have to suck on it still, but you know, so that's why I like the bladder. Some of the hikes I go on, it's kind of nice to be able to just have this at the ready but guys that's what I carry around in the backpack I'm gonna go ahead and start dumping this thing out so I'll get a bucket I think that's the best way to go knock all this dust out of here oh wow what is there a Phillips number two bit doing in here <laughs> but uh, we'll get this all knocked out um, I'm gonna get this stuff thrown in a pan and I highly doubt there's gonna be anything in here it's not impossible though. There's quite a bit of dust. And uh, we'll see how this sucker, we'll see how Gold Pan's backpack pans out this year. All right, so that's all the goodies. That's all the goodies in there. A piece of a knife, uh, all kinds of little organic material. Yeah, I am. Uh, so, yeah. There ain't gonna be no gold in here, <laughs> but we'll give it a shot. Guys, I'll be back after a bit. All right, let's pour the backpack material in. All kinds of ugly stuff. I'll get to panning this out, guys. Uh, yeah, there is not gonna be no gold in here, I can guarantee. But you never know, we'll see. So it was worth a shot, but there was zero gold. So, so the old backpack dirt didn't pan out very well, but that's all right. You know, it's just one of those things. Uh, just run through and see, you know, you never know. You might end up getting lucky and find a little tiny, tiny, tiny little piece. But thanks for coming along guys for the video. Um, another thing quite a few people have asked me about is, uh, Hey, so what kind of camera do you use? And most of you know I've got a GoPro because it likes to overheat all the darn time outside in the summer, but... So I figure I'd make a video about all the gear and stuff that I have for my GoPro. It's nothing really all too fancy. I did have to make a modification um, to one of the pieces on the camera because it's a uh, total pain in the butt. Anyway, guys and gals, uh, have yourself a good day, great evening, Take care out there. We'll see you on the next one.